Hi folks, today I'm going to show you a couple circuits I made. Uh, I was surfing around the internet one day and saw a YouTube video on how to create a Nikola Tesla free energy circuit. And the uh, schematic looked easy enough so I went ahead and uh, made a couple. And basically this is the, the first one that I created and actually one of the first circuits I've ever created. And uh, you can kind of see what it looks like. I'll show you a uh, diagram of this a schematic later. And take a look under here. Basically what we got here is uh, the ground will connect here. An antenna connects right here. And here you're going to have your DC minus out and DC plus out. Alright, so that's the first one I created. This one here is basically uh, just two of those. There's one on this side and one on this side. And they're both connected here to this uh, connection for the antenna. And then we got the ground down here. And also have the plus and minus out. I also connected a little uh, LED with a little push button to sort of uh, give you a little idea of the light. In fact, there might actually be some energy stored up in this thing right now. I'm going to go ahead and release it by pressing this button. Oh yeah, there you go. So you can see the caps had a little bit of energy stored up in there. And it's just slowly kind of burning it out. I'll just hold that down until it's pretty much burned out. That looks pretty pretty good there. Uh, kind of see a little bit. Still flashing off and on. Those caps still have some juice in them, I guess. So I'm going to try and bleed it out a little bit. Alright. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, one of these things and show you more or less how it works. Uh, before I do that, uh, I'll kind of explain what I've got going on here. I've got an aerial this is uh, actually connected to an antenna on top of my house, so it's going up about 30, 40 feet. It's not, you know, super exciting antenna, but it was there, so I decided to use it. And this is basically ground connection to my main house ground. And I'll show you pictures of both of those uh, at some time in this video. Now, there's nothing uh, super magic about uh, these particular circuits. In fact, after designing them and playing with them and doing some searching around, I basically found out that they're basically a, a rectifier, a voltage rectifier. So it's converting alternating current into a DC current. And I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about here using a multimeter. So I'll go ahead and connect one end here to my antenna and connect the other end to my ground. And just show you that uh, I'm getting alternating current from this particular ground antenna setup. There we go. So look, we're getting a 7.62 volts alternating current right off the bat there. Just straight antenna and ground. Let's see what DC says. Negative 0.6. Alright. So. Turn that off and go ahead and connect this to my first circuit. Put the minus here. And we've got plus here. And I'm gonna put these wires under here just to stabilize the whole little system. So it just fall right off. Alright. Let's see if we got any voltage in there right now. So what do we got? We got 5.8 millivolts just stored up in those little caps. Alright, so now I'm going to connect my ground using this green wire here. And i got to flip this guy over because my circuit's not super great design. Anyways. And then I'm going to connect my antenna right here. And see what happens. Oh, look at that. We're already getting an increase in DC voltage. 45 millivolts are going up. And this is the first circuit I designed. This is basically the same one I saw online. And I didn't solder or anything. I just wired it all up together. 
I just put it on a little breadboard just to make sure it would uh, be easy to deal with. And we'll just, you know, we'll let this thing go and see how long it takes to fill up with voltage here. And as you can see, it's rising, rising, rising. I think I might uh, take a break and come back and show you this in a few minutes. All right, it's been going up. We've got 0.3 volts or 300 millivolts and rising. Uh, while it's charging up here, it's basically getting nice charge in those capacitors. While it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and check our AC voltage again just to see what the difference is now that uh, it's charging up. Connect this here. And this here, and we're still getting a cool 7.5 volts AC. All right, connect these back to our circuit, and see where we're going here. That's right, we gotta go back to DC. We're up to 0.6 volts now. Alright. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this other one while this, this one here is charging up. And see what kind of uh, power we get out of that. Connecting them both since we've still got some AC voltage there. Might as well connect them up and get this guy charging as well. Again, I'm going to hit this light and see there's not much going on here right now. But there will be soon. As soon as I connect this thing, probably. Try to get some voltage in there. And we'll see. Nothing yet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from this one. Take it over here. See what we got. And we're up to two volts on the double shot here. The double. It's got two of them together. And let's see if we get... We don't have enough to... Get that light going just yet. I'll just let it be for a bit. 2.25 volts. Let that charge up. And we'll take it on back here. See what we're getting. And now we're up to 900 millivolts. Almost a volt here. I'm back again after waiting a little while and you can see now that the voltage on this particular circuit is up to 1.288 volts on my multimeter there and I'm gonna switch it over here and see what we've got on the the double one it's got basically two of these combined it's series And what are we up to? 2.76. And let's see if the LED light's going to flash for us. Oh, yeah, there we go. That will flash. So we got enough power in those caps to juice up that little LED a little bit. Now, again, I'm going to explain this. There's really no magic between behind these circuits. In fact, you can buy, it's basically a uh, voltage rectifier. You can buy these things. Super cheap, and I'll I'll show you. you know, they basically work the same way. You can see there's like four uh, leads on this thing, just like these circuits you have four connections. You know, you got your DC minus and plus, and you've got your AC in the, the ground there and the antenna. So I'll show you. I'll, I'm just going to connect this the same way I've got this little guy connected, and uh, give you a little demo. So I'm going to take the ground here. From this circuit, 
and connect it to so we got the plus and the minus here I don't know if you can actually see that it's got a little plus minus so that's going to be more or less like that and it doesn't really matter you can just, you can stick the ground or the antenna on either side it's alternating current so it's just going back and forth and it doesn't really matter how you uh, connect those little guys all right so now I've got this guy connected I'm gonna take the multimeter off of this unit here which is still charging up and let's see what we get all right and this is just connected straight to uh, this rectifier we're getting 6.1 volts DC all right so that's pretty good it's it's, it's working even better than this circuit here probably because the capacitors need to fill up um, but shoot, we're getting six volts out of this little guy right here. This little component you can buy, super cheap. Anyways, it does the same thing. If you want to put some capacitors on it, and there you go, you've got your storage. All right, take these guys off, and let's put it back here. The antenna. And the ground. And let's put our test leads back on here and see where we are again. 1.4 volts there. And this one, 2.5. Let's see if we can get a flash out of this little guy. Yeah. So that's. Yeah, you know, circuits work. Um, again, there's nothing special about them. Uh, it, it, you know, whether or not you would call it free energy is up to you. Uh, someone's producing the energy. It's either being produced by a radio station, or I've also been able to just pick up electromagnetic energy uh, with these units, uh, which I'll demonstrate in another video. Um, but there you have it. All right, here is the first circuit diagram. Uh, as you can see, you've got your antenna up here. You've got a couple of ceramic capacitors, uh, 100 PF on each side. The antenna is connected to, and these go down and connect to the diodes, which directs the current in the proper direction to uh, the capacitors. We've got uh, two more down here, 100 UF capacitors. All that's connected to the ground, and then you get your plus and your minus out. And this arrow here is just showing that they're 1N34A germanium diodes. All right, and here we have the second circuit, which is basically just two of those circuits wired in series down here. You can see plus and minus connected together. You got your antenna and your ground. Uh, this is where the antenna will connect on the first one and the ground on the first one and you know just basically got another one right over here so this is not showing actually the uh, LED and the switch if you want I could create a schematic for that and show you just leave a comment and I'll do that uh, but this is basically the second circuit 